This is Page and Panel, the teacaf shop. So this is now the permanent brick and mortar of the Toronto Comic Arts Festival. And so if you miss teacaf in May, you can come here and enjoy teacaf all year round. The full name is the Toronto Comic Arts Festival. Our mandate is to promote the breadth and diversity of comics as a literary medium and to bring attention to artists and their work and creators who wouldn't necessarily be known all over. We're totally free to attend. And we also don't have sort of the superhero kind of people coming in costume, uh, cosplayers, or like actors from Star Trek where you have to pay $60 to, to meet them. You're coming to learn about new books that are exciting to read. You're coming to meet authors and listen to programming about how they've written the books and who inspired them. And one person that I'm the most excited about, people don't realize that Linda Berry is half Filipino. And uh, just to know that there's an, an established Filipino woman who's incredibly successful has always been kind of uh, an inspiration to me as a, a Filipino Canadian. Charles Burns, I'm super excited about. I haven't read Sugar Skull because I think I have a bit of anxiety about finishing it because I'm, I'm a little too excited. Uh, and I also am super excited about his poster that he did. Like, look at this, like this astronaut is just giving these alien characters comics, but who's to say the astronaut's not the alien? You know what I'm saying? Like it just, I love it. I, I just, I think he's a, he's a brilliant creator. We have an event at the Italian Cultural Institute with Lorenzo Matati, and it is all of the original artwork um, from the Hansel and Gretel, and they're massive pieces that we had to ship over here from Paris. This is the mini comic section, and it features a lot of like local and international self-published comics. As you can see, like the art is still incredible. This is kind of like how a lot of current cartoonists cut their teeth by publishing zines. And so as the Toronto Comic Arts Festival, we wanted to make sure we put a lot of emphasis on that and gave it its own section because it's really important to show all different kinds of comics and not just the, uh, the graphic novel.